Jeff, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for joining us on short notice. So a very unfortunate ending. I'm just curious, what's your take on what happened Saturday night? Fight's going on. He seems to be landing some big shots. Then the tide seemed to be turning a little bit. Did you, in fact, poke him in the eye based on what you you remember? I, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I do not recall poking him in the eye. I didn't feel it. I didn't, you know, I'm not calling him a liar by any means. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't feel the, the poke at all. Do you think he looked for a way out? That's what he's being accused of. Did you feel like he was just trying to get out of the fight at that point? Yeah, it, it felt that way. Um, you know, I mean, the dude's a warrior. He, he, he was laying some big shots. He had me rock a few, you know, a few times. Uh, but yeah, I, I felt that the tide was turning and I was landing some big shots. I was busting them up and, you know, and then it was just kind of weird how it, you know, it ended. I, I mean, people get poked in the eye all the time and fight on, and, and he just didn't want any part of it. Well, we're showing a photo now of another moment in the fight where it seemed like you kicked him in the face, but it seemed like maybe your toes went in his eye as well. Do you remember this moment, and did you feel like they went in his eye in in, in that particular moment? Uh, no, I didn't. I mean, but a high kick, you know, especially in the heat of battle, man, you just don't you don't feel any of that. So sure. I, was, I was going for my shin on his, on his chin, but that didn't work out. So, um yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. But I, I'm, I'm almost sure. I, did. I know I didn't feel it. So when this is happening and the, and the referee stops the fight and then the the doctor comes in and you're in your corner just kind of playing it out, like what are you seeing here based on his body language? Because I think he is being criticized because of his body language because he didn't put up a fight because he didn't try to convince the the ref or doctor that he was good to go. What do you see? Are you seeing a guy who wants to keep fighting and just basically can, or are you seeing a guy who is trying to figure out a way how to stop fighting? Yeah. It, it, to me, I was, you know, I thought, I thought the fight was going to continue. I thought he was trying to catch his win. You know, it was a pretty, uh, we, you know, we were going at it for four minutes. And then, uh, when I, when I saw the doctor coming, I knew it was over. I just was hoping, hoping it wasn't, but, uh, yeah, I just I didn't I didn't see him grab his eye or blink or anything. So I don't know. I just I I thought the fight was going to continue until I saw the doctor. He did hit you with some big shots early on. How much trouble were you in? How much pain were you in? Uh, to be honest with you, I I I wasn't hurt. I knew exactly where I was. The time he did drop me, I I grabbed a single right away. I don't know if it was instinct, but I, I just knew where I was the whole time and. I knew it was that wasn't going to last. You know, there's no way you can keep that pace up for for three rounds, and that was part of the game plan: is let him get tired. I, I've I've gone the distance. I'm not afraid to go 15, 25 minutes. So, uh, and he's never has. So that was part of the game plan. Did you feel like he was slowing down? Yeah, absolutely. I, I got the turn on the cage, and it was almost like he uh, he let me have it. I was like, oh. Okay, because he was very strong against the cage in the first the first time he put me against the cage and took me down. Um, very strong. I, I couldn't get my underhooks at all. I was kind of like stuck there. And that's a weird position because I'm usually pretty good off off the cage. So he's very strong, but when I turned him, it, it was like he almost gave, it was like a, he gave it to me. And so, how does a situation like this work for you? Do you only get your show money? Yeah, as far as I know, it's only show money, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you would have lost the fight, you know, you, you only get the show money. But in this case, because it's a no contest, you feel like you should have gotten both? Uh, I think they should. I'm hoping they go back and review it and maybe, maybe, you know, do it right. Give me half my money. I don't know. It's up to them, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, I, you know, it'd be nice that that extra that extra win money is definitely uh, for me because, you know, I've just gotten into UFC. It's definitely a life changing money for me right now you know it's a difference do you think you'll get another so so far in the ufc um it's been a tough go you had the fight against maurice screen split decision now you get this do you think you'll get another chance i sure hope uh i both my fights have been pretty entertaining for heavyweight fights uh, especially you know the one on saturday i thought uh you know we, we went hard and i landed some good shots and busted them up and i know i, I think i did enough to prove that i, I belong um, I hope they see it the same way. Todd seems, based on the text he sent me, seems interested in a rematch. Are you interested in a rematch? Yeah, yeah, I'll fight anybody. I, it doesn't matter to me. You know, we're at the highest level, and we're not. I'm not here to 
handpick opponents or try to take easy fights, and he's definitely not an easy fight. Right. So, yeah. Do you feel like the criticism he's receiving is unfair or warranted? Uh, I think it's unfair. Uh, there's so many people that, that criticize, you know, every part of fighting, and they've never stepped foot on a mat. It's like go experience it first and then, then talk about it because, and I'm not criticizing a guy for missing a free throw. Cause I don't know how to play basketball. Right. You know? So <laughs> to me, it's like, it, it's, I mean, I know it's part of the game, but like, you know, I'm, I'm happy people are on my side with it, but I, I feel bad for the guy. I really do. So no bad blood between you and him, despite the fact that you think that he didn't actually get poked in the eye. No, no, I, I, I don't, I respect him and he, he comes out and fights hard and uh you know he's went through a whole bunch of injuries and all that. Uh I respect all my opponents. I have no no problems with any of them and it's it's great that we get to do what we do. Well, I'm sorry this happened, Jeff. It was a really fun fight um and you weathered the storm and it seemed like the tide was turning in your direction all of a sudden when it seemed like you were on the potentially the cusp of of being finished. So, uh great job in in terms of weathering that storm and I'm sorry it ended this way. It was I think I speak for everyone, disappointed that it ended in that fashion, but maybe they run it back and you guys get to finish this one out. Thank you for coming on and explaining your side of the story, and hopefully you get that next fight sooner rather than later so it can make up for the fact that you only got your show money. Hello, everyone. It's Ariel Hawani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.